I'm Dr. Joe Niamh to LoveThatFace.com here in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. We're going to talk about lip reduction today and by and large the majority of the cases we do are on African American patients. However, there are a lot of other types of patients that do want their lips smaller and today we're going to do a uh, lip reduction on the lower lip of a Caucasian patient. Everything is the same. It really does not uh, matter what race someone is. It's all about removing the excess tissue. So we're going to use the luminous CO2 laser, which is a completely bloodless procedure. So join us as we do uh, a lip reduction on a Caucasian patient. We're doing a uh, lip reduction on a Caucasian patient. We're just taking out about five millimeters or so of tissue. We're going to use some local anesthesia. Uh, we're doing this under IV sedation. It can be done under local, but uh, we prefer to do it under IV about sedation. The laser is there's virtually no bleeding, so we're going to make our laser incision with the luminous CO2 laser. And this is really very similar to blepharoplasty. Once we make this incision, we'll remove this ellipse of skin. And everybody knows that the lip is a very vascular structure and the fact that there's just virtually zero bleeding here. Just like blepharoplasty surgery, we've made the incision. You can see it's all bloodless and now we're going to be removing some of the extra mucosa and depending how much reduction you need will sometimes take some of the deeper tissue the muscle and even the salivary glands or the other structures of the lip so you can see how nice this comes off with the laser and there's the just mucosa. zero removed and um, we've trimmed some of the salivary glands and the whole purpose of this is so this incision closes uh, and the suture line will be on the inside of the lip. So at this point, we're going to close this. We're going to put some 5 gut key sutures in, and I like to close this with sutures that have to be removed. I don't want to use dissolvable sutures for my final closure because they have a tendency to come out. So I like to use a 6-0 uh, silk suture and leave that in for about nine days. So we're going to go ahead and put several key sutures in here to line our anatomy up properly. Cut. Now we put our key sutures in and this just helps line up the mucosa and it's going to turn the lip in and because of the swelling and the local there's a little bit of more art than science at this point but it generally if, if you've measured it correctly and have a symmetric outline it should pull everything back nice in a very symmetric manner so we'll go ahead and put our final uh, 6-0 silk closure in and then we're okay, done. Okay so we're finished here I guess this took about 25 minutes to do and here is our final closure. I'll let go of everything please with the 6-0 silk and we'll probably leave that in for a, a week or a little bit longer and right now you'll see that suture line but when the edema goes down uh, it'll be hidden. So that's our lip reduction on a Caucasian patient. For more information about lip reduction or cosmetic facial surgery, Dr. Niamtu in Richmond, Virginia. See lovethatface.com.